So I think I've found how to create the best fisheye effect in Photoshop. It's my favorite mix of quick, easy, but still customizable. I'm Abby Esparza. I've been creating creative composites for almost 10 years now, and all the resources featured here today can be found over on Envato Elements, where you get unlimited downloads of graphics, photos, and fonts, all with super simple commercial licensing. A plus a no locking contract means you can cancel anytime. Go ahead and subscribe now with the link down in the description. And subscribe to the Envato Touch Plus channel for even more tips, tricks, and tutorials. I just a whole lot of good stuff. So first, let's duplicate our subject using Control slash Command J. You can make this technique non-destructive by using smart objects, but I'm just going to create a backup copy uh, to keep things simple. Now we're going to go to Filter, Lens Correction. While it says correction, this is what we're going to use to distort our image. We drag either towards or away from the center of the photo to create that fish eye like effect, just the beginnings of it, either pulling our subject in towards us or out away from us. In this case, I want his face to appear distorted and closer to the foreground, so I'm going to pull away from the center to pull him closer to me. This is looking good. Now I'm going to create another duplicate uh, just to be safe, but that's completely optional. And now we're going to go to Filter, Liquify, and we want the Bloat tool. We want to set our rate to around 5, something nice and low, and we want our brush size to start very, very large. It depends on your image's resolution, but my brush started at around 4300. And now we want to place our brush right over the subject's face and use that bloat tool to enlarge it. You can either hold down on the brush in one area for a very slow and small amount of distortion, or you can make small circular motions to increase the rate at which it liquefies. Now if you want a very fishy fish-eyed effect, you'll slowly lower your brush size using the bracket keys while you bloat the face. This will make it so the distortion becomes more concentrated on the face, right in between the eyes. And this is going to, uh, usually end up pushing the eyes apart and enlarging the nose, making it a quick and easy uh, caricature effect as well. You never say that word right. Caricature. I also like to hit each eye uh, so they stay nice and big and round. Sometimes they can start to look overly distorted, and you might even want to use the push and pull tool to kind of reshape things. But in our case, it looks like this is looking good. So we could stop here, but I actually like to grab the pinch tool, and then we can pinch the subject's body to make it seem further away from the camera, or us, the viewer. You want to be a bit more subtle here. A little goes a long way. And really, that finishes up the kind of fisheye effect. But I do like to add a, a fast filter, sharpen, smart sharpen, and then along with a, a small amount of filter, noise, add noise, just around 2 to 3%. Just to hide any stretched out pixels. And then finally, we can add just a touch of contrast and a bit more sharpening using a high pass layer. For that, we just duplicate the subject, again, Control command j and then we want to set that layer to Overlay. Then let's go to Filter, Other, High Pass, and set the radius to around 40% or so. And then we can adjust the layer opacity, bringing it down to 30% and maybe even a little bit lower. Uh, these last few steps were, of course, optional. I just like to add uh, a, a bit of extra sharpening after all that liquefying. I also want to quickly mention that this technique absolutely works on landscapes. In fact, it's even easier to do. Just use filter lens correction as much as you need for your desired effect, and then skip the liquify step altogether. And that's what I found to be the best fisheye effect in Photoshop, especially for portraits, 
admittedly they're my favorite. And that'll do it for today. If that wasn't enough and you're looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other awesome videos that Envato Test Plus has to offer? If you liked this video, consider giving us a like and even subscribing if you haven't already, and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of all new videos. A happy designing, see you next time.